everybody, my name is Emily Ford and I'm the Urban and Public Affairs Librarian here at Portland State University. I'm really sorry I can't be here with you today. Um, I'm on vacation. <laughs> but I'm here with you virtually, so I wanted to welcome you. Um, so in my role at PSU as the Urban and Public Affairs Librarian, I do a variety of things. I work mostly with people in CUPA, the College of Urban and Public Affairs. So that includes political science, Criminology, Criminal Justice, Urban Studies and Planning, Community Health, and Public Administration. I also work, I work with all of the students, the faculty, and I also work with research centers and institutes within the Coupa umbrella. So um, I work with a lot of people. Um, and if we've met before and you see me, say hi. I may not know who you are, so you please tell me how I know you, and I, I would love to say hi. Um, true story, uh, somebody came up to me in yoga class the other day, so um, no place is too weird <laughs> for you to say hello. I've even had students who've watched recordings of me at orientation say hello to me, even though I never met them, and I always really appreciate that. One of the things that I love most about my job is connecting with students, so um, please, please say hi. Um, so today there are, I want to talk about three different areas. One are the three things I want you to know at the end of me talking at you on this video. And then I'll be talking about library services and I'll be talking about some of our research sources. Again, I only really want you to know the first three things. The rest is like the gravy on top of your breakfast biscuit. So what are those three things? First, I want you to know that um, no one expects you to be an expert. You're a student and you don't have to have all of the answers. So that being said, if it takes you more than 15 minutes to figure something out, ask somebody. Don't perform an exercise of frustration. We're all busy and I bet if you ask somebody, they might be able to point you in the right direction. That goes for research, that goes for um, something in your class, etc. Just make efficient use of your time. Second, um, never pay for anything related to uh, your research, particularly if you're looking for um, journal articles or newspaper articles or something like that. You might hit what we call a paywall, where you're being asked to pay $40 to access an article. Don't do that because as students, you're paying tuition and fees, and there are ways for the library to be able to get you the resources that you need. So don't pay it. You're a student. You're, you're paying for school. Um, we should get it for you. And then finally, the third major thing that I'd like for you to know is how to um, get a hold of me and how to ask the library for help. I'll put something up on this video that has the information and there should be information on your handout with that information. So now on to library services. So um, the library has stuff that libraries have, right? And probably more stuff that you may not have even considered a library having. You know, we have a coffee cart in the library. Um, we have collaborative workspaces. We have books. We have journals. We have newspapers. We have music scores. So if you're um, like me and you want to get back into being a musician and check out some scores or duets or whatever you want and, and you know, have at it. Um, uh, also, a lot of you are working probably full time or more. And you might have families, you have a lot going on in your lives. So you don't physically have to be on campus to access all of the things that the library has for you. So um, just know that, uh, that you can access stuff with your ODIN username and password. So typically you should be able to get almost everything um, that, that you need. Um, students who live more than 30 miles from campus qualify as distance students for the Portland State Library. And what that means for you is that we can um, physically mail you books and resources um, to your home. So if you live more than 30 miles away, be sure um, and register with us that way. And there's information again on our website and on your handout for that. And then finally, I want to impress upon you that the PSU Library is not all you can get. Um, in terms of library materials, we're part of a consortium uh, of summit libraries, so they're called summit libraries, um, in the Northwest, and we can get you books um, and materials from Reed, Lewis and Clark, UW, Oregon State, so 37 academic libraries in the Pacific Northwest. Actually, if you live close to a, a different library that's in our alliance, then um, you could also go check out materials at that, physically at that library as well with your PSU ID. And then um, finally, be sure that to know that you can ask us anything either via a web form, 24-7 um, chat, uh, email, phone. There's all sorts of ways to get a hold of us. 
So finally, I just want to highlight some research resources that may be helpful to you down um, your your path as a student. On our website, you'll find links to um, the library catalog. That search box on our homepage search page searches our catalog. Um, we have subject guides listed that are kind of organized by the political and the um, disciplinary separation. Um, uh, uh, Organized, gosh, how do I say this? Things that are organized by um, the political, by the disciplinary uh, subjects taught at PSU. Jeez, that was hard. <laughs> um, and we also have databases for you to be um, doing research on a, any variety of things. They might contain articles, conference proceedings, but also things like um, a congressional record, uh, government documents, and things like that. So it was really wonderful to meet you all via this video, and I look forward to meeting you again. I'll see you in your research methods class. And um, between now and then, feel free to make an appointment with me. Send me an email, say hi, and good luck.